How are we doing, my gorgeous Capricorn Collective? I'm Rose Warrior One, your messenger from Holy Spirit, your homie, your homegirl, your pal, your high priestess, whatever you'd like to refer here, respectively, is my role. My role is to just guide, help, provide a light here, provide a force of strength from my experience, as well as I am a Capricorn, reading for Capricorns, what better energy, right, to than someone who embodies the same type of mentality that same type of high vibrational energy this is going to be a reading for capricorn sun moon rising mercury or venus you could also have capricorn in a north node a descendant in any situation person or reason that brought you here so holy spirit ancestors of the highest white light safely lead guide and guard my vessel to read for capricorn as effectively and most efficiently as possible ashe and so we may begin this reading here. I'm going to pull from my Oracle deck here. Whoa, we already got two cards that came out. And that was at 101. So you could be seeing 101 or lots of numbers with zero inside of the triple digits or quadruple digits even. Maybe you're seeing 1110. Maybe you're seeing 1011. You're seeing a lot of different numbers like that. Let's flip over and see what's occurring here. So we have seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. I'm going to read these seven heavenly virtues here. These keys to goodness is what I'm getting. Because I have a feeling that one of these seven heavenly virtues are going to be extremely enlightening for you to know. Or it's going to be extremely significant, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and see what Spirit has here. I like reading from Oracle books because it's really nice. It's very scholastic feeling. <laughs> so maybe you're going to school or maybe you're really into learning. Maybe you have a very, very great affinity with books, online articles, or just soaking up some new knowledge, Capricorn. You're always on this constant endeavor to grow. It says you represent spiritual enlightenment, Capricorn. Wow. Divine knowledge and wisdom. Beautiful. You have faith and believe in all that is good and meaningful. You have a deep intuitive understanding of God, the angels, and the universal spirit. Yes, Capricorn Collective, period, as your first message. It says, you know the keys to goodness. You are being asked to use this knowledge to empower and teach others. We're being confirmed here. I literally said that using my gift here to help you, and you're going to use your gift to help others. This is what we do here. We're working that light. It says, faith, hope, charity fortitude justice patience and temperance i'm guided to read justice and temperance to you only is what spirit is telling me for sure so something also about the number seven and the number eight so justice says being fair and equitable towards others temperance says practicing self-control and moderation so you're definitely teaching yourself to be patient, teaching yourself to transmute this power that you have. You have this natural grit and tenacity that could come, that could sometimes scare people away. But what I'm getting is that you're going on something brand new to learn this about yourself or you've already learned this about yourself and now you're embodying and applying this to your life. You could also be an Aquarius here, resonating. This is giving me the star energy or you're in that Aquarius energy as well. I also did an Aquarius tarot reading cap Recording. So tap into that reading too if you got that energy uh, definitely in your astrology chart. I also say, I'm guided to say this, um, I say the word energy a lot because you're supposed to apply this where, where it fits here. I say this in every reading. Person, friendship, platonic friends, a boss, a house, a street name, anything could resonate with your specific timeline, very specific here. So when I say energy, I just mean Place that where it does fit or if it does here, if it really vibrates at and rings truth for you. So this, I'm just being guided to say this in all my readings today. I feel like I got new subscribers or new people here. Hello and howdy if you're there. So we have new beginnings. 111 says begin your new life. I'm being called to pull one more card here. So you are literally beginning this new chapter of your life. You could be seeing 101 one 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 or you could be seen eleven eleven lots of one energy though i'm hearing you are the one you have been the one and you also come from the one is what i'm literally hearing four 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 literally before i bent over <laughs> so now we have seven deadly sins it says humanity's destructive traits here so we have seven 
wow, this has never happened before. Seven heavenly virtues and seven deadly sins. So the energy I'm getting, Capricorn, is this new beginning that you're starting on deals with balancing how the world is dark and how the world is light. You are literally learning how to teeter between these two energies and walk your path in accordance to both yin and yang energy, to feminine and masculine situations or conflicts or even challenges. You're learning how to balance how the world can sin in a certain way, how we all can sin in a certain way, as well as how the world can bring goodness and angelic vibration just like we can. So it all comes down to choices and the actions you take upon them. This is what Spirit is saying for those either outside of you that are in your situation or to you if this resonates for you specifically, Capricorn. But you're going on some sort of beginning where you're, under, you're understanding yourself. Interestingly enough, I'm being guided to share this. Seven deadly virtues, right? Seven heavenly virtues is pretty much what, what is this? Seven heavenly virtues, yes, and seven deadly sins. So seven plus seven, you could be seeing the number 77, but seven plus seven equals 14, right? 14 in major arcana is the temperance, and we were guided to read you what temperance meant, which is a balancing act, learning how to have patience while you're on this journey. So something about having patience and watching things unfold brings even bigger blessings when you show spirit you're willing to wait for what's yours wow very specific message capricorn let's go ahead and see what we have here for my personal oracle deck wow we already have stuff coming out so the ancestors definitely want to speak so capricorn we have equations and solutions you are dissecting and understanding the details of an equation and you are realizing you have the potential, the elements, the resource here and the prowess, right? The nature to you naturally embedded within you, right? In an innate way here, you have a solution living within you and many of them. This is why you attract money and abundance because you have some sort of solution ability. You're able to create solutions. I heard we don't want problems, we want solutions. Notice how this says equations and solutions, not equations and problems. This is a very specific download here. So also at the bottom or top of the deck here, we have stay calm, relaxation. This actually has been a message for a lot of people all day, as well as all week. Stay calm, relaxation. When you allow your body to relax, you are able to pull in magnetically through your thoughts, electrically even. Are you sending out what you want for, to, for it to come and arrive in your experience? So Spirit says to stay calm and relax so this energy can ease in or ooze in is also what I'm getting in a calm and collected manner. Right, right there you go. Right behind, look, I just pulled these and I'm not gonna switch them so you see. So it says stay calm, relaxation, right? Right behind that was trust your intuition. Literally, we're being confirmed here. Out of the 300, 200 plus cards that are literally in this deck. And then it says, yes, you literally have trust your intuition after stay calm and relaxation and you have yes. Lots of positive energy coming in for you during a time where you could feel like you're not motivated as much as you usually are. You could feel Capricorn, like there's a lot going on in your mind. Like certain thoughts are coming in that are being, or making you feel like they're intrusive. You're having intrusive thoughts, making you feel like you're less than for some reason is what I'm getting here. But this is actually good because certain things are challenging you. Your ego is challenging you because your vibration is rising. So your ego is like, no, remember, we like this. We like comfort. We like safety. We like problems because problems let us act out the way we want. That's what your ego is trying to make you relive. And here you are like, nope, I'm going to trust my intuition, have faith in myself because a yes covers me. Say that. Yes covers my essence. So I bring the yes to me. Woo, come on now. <laughs> so trust your intuition here because whoever I'm speaking to, you could possibly be clairvoyant this says impressions in the mind's eye you have clear seeing it says clear seeing so clairvoyance it's a very powerful gift here it's the psychic ability to clearly see through situations to clearly see past any veils any type of veils it gives you the ability to see past right to understand what equation and what solution lies in front of you you do have to see it clearly wow that's a very specific message here 
You also get impressions in the mind's eye. You could receive downloads, pictures, numbers. You could literally see this information. It almost feels like there's a screen, right? Right in the front of your eye and while it's open, you just see these impressions on that wall. It could, be, it could feel like you have this white canvas or black canvas or even a gray or another color canvas here in your third eye. It's like you have your, your imagination and your thoughts and then you have this space that's able to carry information that seems to always be truthful for you. It seems to always guide you. We had one card poking out. New color, new look. Maybe this could be a new color of a car, new color of your wardrobe, new color of your hair, new color of some sort and a new look of some sort. So maybe this also is insinuating your clear seeing. You're able to provide a new look and a new perspective, a new color. Wow, I love this energy. <laughs> I really do. I always love Capricorn energy and not because I'm a Capricorn myself. It's because I always tap into some beautiful revolutionary breakthrough pretty much is what's always going on here capricorn taurus virgo energy when i split the deck page of pentacles aquarius energy like i said check out that aquarius tarot aquarius energy here with the star but i am speaking to someone who is going to be embodying this new position by having hope by having faith in themselves or a project here something's going to be turning a page here in a positive light it's a positive turn occurring for some of you. You could be feeling like eyes are fixed on you. You could be feeling like attention is easy for you to get or it always has been growing up. We see 1144 now showing up in your reading. Lots of 11s, lots of 1s. So something about your personal power and manifestation. You're seeing things come into fruition at this time and it's probably blowing your mind, Capricorn. <laughs> if this reading resonates, smash that like button. Donations are accepted. You can become a Patreon member to have extra readings. I'm dropping a new Patreon reading today. So this is like readings on top of readings, y'all, pretty much. As well as you can get a personal reading from me. I love reading for my Capricorns, especially for personals. So speaking of this energy, right? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with Queen of Pentacles, right? So you're, you're embodying the solution. You're coming out grounded. You're coming out stable. You're coming out unmovable. Immovable is the word here. You've come across a lot of challenges, right? Spirit says there's some sort of truth to you. There's some sort of clarity coming in for you. Clarity, clairvoyant, clear seeing, seeing the truth, seeing past situations here, providing solutions, using your voice. This is literally what I'm hearing now. Capricorn, I love your readings. They always come across so clear. Just off of these two alone, you're being called to speak up in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you are a speaker, maybe you're a motivational speaker, or maybe you've got a lot of people fixated on your energy. You're sitting in your abundance. You're sitting in your position. After every tower has fell, I heard crumbled or fallen here, you stand. Your love stands. Your purpose stands. The moment and the reason you're here stands, is what I'm getting. You're powerful, you're resilient, and you're hard to move because you know your purpose, right? You're clear about it. You speak this purpose daily. You live it. So Spirit says something about your throat chakra is going to be blessed and you're going to be given a clear way of speaking or someone's going to be repeating something that maybe you know already in your eyes or in your mind you're like i know that but then you're going to start thinking wait there's a reason these people are repeating things to me maybe i really need to take in this knowledge being brought back to me yeah 14 14 on the clock here lots of ones and now we have fours showing up wow your foundations new beginnings with ones learning Beautiful energy, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. You're receiving abundance because you've been embodying some sort of truth or you found out a truth and were able to stay composed here. So it's almost like your vibration increases because you're proving to yourself and also proving to spirit 
that you have this ability to stay grounded no matter what truths are being presented, etc., etc. We have Gemini energy as well as a little bit of Sagittarius is what I pick up on with this card in the lovers. So you got Gemini and Sagittarius energy in the lovers. I'm picking up on someone who was, I heard tainted. I also heard a dark cloud. Either this was the divine masculine, this could be you or someone else, or this could be a divine feminine, this could be you or someone else. Remember to flip flop the roles according to you and your situations here. Use your discernment. Someone was tainted or something was hazy for a long time, and there's clarity coming in about a relationship, or there's clarity coming in about a very specific connection. Remember, the lovers can also be platonic. It can also be just a connection between someone else who said they loved you or said they respected you. But I am picking up on, for most of you, you are in a relationship here, and I'm picking up on the other person probably wasn't as clear with you about how they always felt. Now they're facing some sort of challenge or truth to where they will have to step up and be that person that they said they were going to be for you. Or also, I'm also getting something about a best friend holding out on information. I'm sorry to say that if this is not a good thing, it doesn't really feel like a good thing. But there could be a best friend here of some sort or there could be a partner here and it doesn't have to be information what it is is it's holding out on energy here and people are realizing now that you're standing in your power and your truth literally you're immovable because you've earned this spot with dignity with grace with diligence this position that you have in life literally whatever reality you're living in it's embodying the queen of pentacles you're being looked at as one at least. People are looking at you like you're a queen or a king of pentacles, Capricorn. We have this Gemini energy here, Sagittarius with the lovers showing up here because people are having to face their truths because you're doing the same. So anyone you're around, you're mirroring that energy to them here. Something about the nose here. My nose isn't itchy, but there was like a little tingle with it. So maybe you have a nose piercing or maybe you, you feel something funny with the nose at this time. What is this? Mm. Three of Cups celebration. What is this energy spirit with Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the Lovers? Page of Wands here. That shot out to the ground. I mean, shot out to the table. And four of pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Or you could be dealing, Capricorn, with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries here. But you don't have to be, okay? So what I'm getting here is someone definitely was holding on to some sort of information. Or they were holding on to some sort of opportunity or they were holding on to something that should have been given to you effortlessly but people are realizing as you are an effortlessly loving person towards yourself they're having no choice but to face the facts that they cannot hold on to things or grip onto things around you you're going to know you're going to find out if this is another type of situation right it depends or you're going to be given the limelight to open up the door just by your vibration and people are realizing they cannot hold you down, hold onto you, hold onto any energy from you. If they wanna be around you, right, with this lover's energy, they're going to have to let go of the grip. This is Taurus energy as well, Capricorn and Virgo, but a Taurus energy for sure. That came through super clear by the way that came through super clear so we have ace of swords here some sort of clarity and truth about this page of wands could be dealing with some sort of leo sagittarius or aries this could be you this could be sun moon rising north node mercury or venus but what i am getting here is this is someone who definitely has a fire sign mercury they have a fire a fiery way of communicating they have a spontaneous way of delivering their knowledge. Whoever I'm speaking to, this could be you or whoever you're dealing with. 
This is also someone who does embody truth and does want to speak the truth in their own style, in their own fashion. Like I said, this could be you or could be someone else. But this is the energy of possibly someone you could be dealing with or yourself. And whoever this energy is that I'm speaking to, you have clarity now about where you need to go. You have clarity about what's coming next and about what steps next to take. So Spirit says, as you have equations and solutions, as you're using your psychic abilities like clairvoyance or clairsentience or clairaudience, you're using your skills that are given to you as gifts for a reason. They, these gifts are bestowed upon to you to get ahead in life, not necessarily of others because there's no real competition here, but just to get ahead for yourself. So you're learning to allow this clarity to manifest into action is what I'm getting here. And you're taking action upon a move or a transition occurring in your life. So we have Queen of Pentacles here. And what came to clarify that was Three of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy now showing up. Someone wants to celebrate your success or maybe you want to celebrate your success. Maybe during Taurus season, you're going to be going to a birthday party that's going to give you a lot or a birthday gathering that's going to give you a lot of love. Maybe during the next Capricorn or Virgo season coming up as well, you're going to receive a lot of love at some sort of celebrate celebratory festivity is what I'm giving here. Something about festive energy. You're going to get festive. You're learning to come out of this cave here or this spot, right? I'm getting someone who's good on their side. They're like, I'm good here, right? This could be the, your version of a throne because you're, you, you're abundant where you're at right now, whoever I'm speaking to. In some way, shape, or form, you definitely are carrying that abundance. But people want to share that abundance and want to hear more from you. And you're learning that there are a few energies and parties that are in your favor that are worthy for you to be opening up to more so than you usually do here it's definitely big on that capricorn energy because i know capricorns like to stay to themselves for the most part unless someone really has a great vibe it's funny because i have two of wands here and i saw 2202 so something about 222 but you could be seeing 222 or 2222 which is a whole nother vibration if you add another two but something about decisions something about partnerships Something about moving forward in a positive light and taking the world into your hands, taking charge of your responsibilities, of your life, and the way you feel about life and your responsibilities. Yeah, again, with that celebratory energy, Four of Wands is celebratory energy. It's the energy of 1111 for me in my decks, in my readings, because we see 1111 in the Wands, literally. So you're stepping through this doorway you've made. Two and four of wands means that whatever decision you're going to make is going to bring you to a celebratory energy. For sure, Capricorn. I've been guided to pull these cards up and get you one oracle card and a possible tarot card to clarify. Where are you guiding me, Spirit? I feel you guiding me. Okay, Spirit says to pull from here. Give me one, uno momento, <laughs> one minute, Capricorn. Because I'm being guided by spirit right now, making sure I have every card in this deck. Because I don't want one message to be left out if it's meant for you. But we all know what is meant for you will find you nonetheless. That's why I read every week for y'all. Thank you for being here, by the way, Capricorn. I really appreciate your time, your readings, your bookings that y'all book me for as well as I enjoy your energy I just enjoy knowing that you're growing knowing that you're going knowing that you're on your way it makes me happy to know other people are finding their way and I'm happy to know that I can help or assist in any way Ashe all I'm here for fam so we have Capricorn Non-duality, let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine. So respecting yourself and respecting God at the same time. It says you can become fluent at doing both. 
So it says, you don't have to conform to the nature of the world as long as you are feeding thyself, knowing thyself, learning thyself, pulling information, love, compassion, everything that you want to see in your reality, pulling it from within. I literally got a hook in my finger here because literally something's hooking this out of you. You're blessed. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're highly, highly blessed here. Because you're authentic, because you meditate, or because you have some sort of divine practice here, it allows you to see things very clearly. And so you're able to move forward without having extra baggage in any shape or way or form. So it seems like you develop and grow quickly to others, but really, you just radically accept things for what they are. That's what I'm getting. Sacrifice. It says sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Literally, illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Capricorn, this is your answer to whatever has been occurring in your life. If you feel you've been brought to this reading because you've been dealing with any negativity, you have sacrificed something through that negativity. Maybe you surrendered, sacrificed time, sacrificed energy, sacrificed your strength, sacrificed even your well-being for a bit here to see something change and maybe you went through a very specific path that didn't feel great, but spirit was able to turn it around for love, for joy, and for, I'm hearing, greatness and also acceptance is what I heard too. Because some of y'all here, you cut away an illusion, you're cutting away an obsession, you already did or are doing now cutting away addictions. So you're sacrificing, you're literally saying, I don't need it anymore, off with it. Even if it hurts, even if it physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally hurts me in any way, off with it. And you're learning that by surrendering and being one with yourself, trusting yourself, it allows you to be one and trust God even deeper. Wow. Very clear messages today, Capricorn. Wow, 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 wow. I love this energy. I'm very proud of you. Whoever I'm speaking to, you've come a long way. You've, you've done a lot for yourself to grow in this way. Be proud of it, right? Five of Swords. So you definitely sacrificed your time, you sacrificed your well-being. For some of you, you, you went really hard to see changes. But now that for some of you, you could even feel a little burnt out or you could feel a little tired or weary. God is trying to come in and give you a revitalization of, of your love, your intuition, your creativity, just so you can know None of this goes without being seen. All your hard work and your sacrifice or whatever you may be going through, God is saying, I want to help you. I, I want to provide you with a way to your greatness that you see for yourself. Now, Because now you see clearly. Now we see why clairvoyant was there. Five of swords, ten of wands. You're moving on from conflict. You're moving on from dealing with Third party, fourth party, fifth party situations that don't serve you. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries of Ten of Wands, Five of Swords is just having conflicts here. You're moving on from these conflicts. You're moving on from people who, they just want to battle for fun to test your wit, to test your strength. You're moving on from that here. So under sacrifice, we have the Ten of Wands. You're, you're leaving burdens, addictions, trials, tribulations that don't serve you anymore, you're leaving that to rest and you're taking with you what you've learned, the lessons learned. Spirit says you don't have to battle for your authenticity anymore. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy here, Capricorn. You don't have to battle because you're an individual. People know this about you. You're a leader, literally. This is your reading today. Much love to you, Capricorn. I hope that this sheds some light upon whoever this finds. Remember to take only what's yours, what feels like it's for you, what feels like it resonates for your family or for your situation as well. Look at the bottom of the deck before I put it up. Transformation. It says things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. There you go. There you literally go, Capricorn. Holy Spirit, I pray that whoever this is for, shed a hedge of protection over them, their families, their finances, their jobs, careers, and the endeavors they've set upon to achieve. Ashe, and so we may fly away, Capricorn. <laughs>